why is mental health important to talk about and bring up in terms of overall health? Ooh, that's a good one. Um, uh, what's pretty interesting about this is, uh, my podcast, my episode I dropped today. Um, for those who don't know, I'm also a writer and poet and April is national poetry month. So I'm spotlighting poets this month and I had Monty Quinn on and he's written five poetry books. We were talking about poetry, but he's working on his sixth book and it's about mental health. It's about his journey going through therapy, the things he learned about himself. And it was a dope conversation. It was, I mean, you got to check it out. He was just talking about how, you know, he didn't really learn and know himself until he became a man, until he had therapy. He said in 18 months, he learned more about himself than he did in 40, 41 years. And we were talking about how as men, we grow up when we're boys, you know, we told like, you know, playing sports, you fall, get up, walk it off, get up, walk it off. But what that does, I think pretty much it, it preps us not to look at our injuries and look at what's going on. So when we, we become mentally or emotionally hurt, we just walk it off. We don't sit and process. We don't sit and take inventory to see what really happens. And then it's this whole thing. I mean, you know, being masculine, being macho, you know, we're taught that it's soft to express your feelings. It's, it's soft to let anybody know that something's bothering you, soft to cry and stuff like that. But that stuff builds up over time. And then you're just walking around angry. And you might not even realize it until something happens, until something snaps. And then you're trying to figure out, well, why am I acting like this? Why am I being this way? And it all comes from, you know, how we're taught because we're taught to be providers and protectors. But how can we do that if we're not figuring out what's going on with us, not addressing our feelings? And so to me, that's very important. Like we have to look at our mental health. We have to look at where we are and we have to find a safe space. Um, I was on a um like a little Friday show. It was a, like a barbershop conversation and it was a women's show, but they asked every Friday to ask guys questions. And it seemed like every Friday, you know, one of my things, it, the questions were like, what can we do to get a guy to do this, do that? And my main thing was provide a safe space. You have to have a safe space. It has to be a place where a man can be vulnerable to let you know that he's not okay to let you know that some things are going on. And it not be thrown back in his face later on. That's key. That's major. Because if you're able to express yourself and let someone know that you're not OK, especially at home, that's major because you can sit there and process. You can have somebody to process with you and then you can move forward. But if you don't have that or even with with, with your boys, you know, some people are afraid to talk to their boys because they might clown you. You know, if you say something going on and you can't handle this or are oh, you a punk or whatever. But nine times out of 10, they're going through something similar or even worse. Or they've already been through that. Mm -hmm. And so sometimes, you know, you could put up that wall and pretend like you're OK, but you're only hurting yourself. And so it's very, mm -hmm. very important. I mean, this conversation I've been having like the last couple of weeks and it's, it's so crazy that this is the topic we're talking about today. Then I had that podcast episode and then I was listening to a morning show and, you know, they were talking about how it was, uh, I think, yeah, the subject was uh, books and authors. And uh, Monique Lisa, she said that where's the mental health book from a man. And here it is a couple of days later, I'm interviewing Monty and he's working on that book. And here we are talking about it, you know, in our community, especially with therapy, it's taboo, you know, mm -hmm. you don't want to go to therapy. You don't want to see a therapist. But if you're at that point where you need to see a therapist, it's OK. Yeah. It's OK. So it's very important. We can't keep walking through life, holding stuff in like you have to find somebody to talk to, even if it's you might even have find community and strangers. I find that when I'm in a store, you know, random people are coming to me and tell me all type of stuff. And I'm just like, wow, I didn't even know that. But, you know, I'm, I'm like, talking you look like you want to talk. Let's, let's yeah. Talk. I'm just like, man, that's very personal. But hey, hey, talking to me and it's like, man, thank you for listening. I really needed somebody, you know, to listen to or whatever. So, you know, find that person, find that space. But if you're going through something, you got to You got to let it out, man. 
Be sure to like and subscribe to the Black Smoke Barbecue podcast channel. For the full video, click the link in the description below.